What's going on everyone? Canoe Lyson here from Nitro Snowboards showing you the new 2019 Nitro Zero binding. This is my personal binding of choice. I like it because it has a medium flex to it. It's good in the park. It's good for jibbing around. It's good in the back country. It has a nice open open high back right here. So it's, it's just, a, I, for me personally, I love it. I like mini jibbing. I like cruising around the mountain. I like hitting jumps. I like doing it all. And I don't like a super stiff binding. This is a nice medium flexing binding. It has our stealth open air base frame, which is this bad boy base frame right here with an aluminum heel cup in the back, which you can easily adjust by uh, just taking out these screws on the straps right here. So there's only two screws that hold it together. So you can take those out, pull, push it forward, push it backwards. So you can get the perfect fit for any size boot you have. You can also rotate the high back with the same, fun with the same maneuver. The Zero has our asymmetrical Zero high back, which is this high back right here. Difference between the Zero high back and the Team high back is that the Zero high back is a little flatter, so it allows for a little more lateral movement. It's not as responsive laterally. It also has a toolless adjustable forward lean component right here. Super easy to use. Flap it up, move it up and down. Find your perfect setting, put it back into place. You're ready to go rip it up. It has air dampening in the heel, which is a nitro airbag in the heel right here which I think is great because I've ridden airbags for the last seven years now and every time I go to a binding with only EVA, I definitely notice that this is missing. It's great for when you're landing deep on jumps or just all day boarding when you put a lot of chatter onto your heel edge. This keeps your, your heel nice and happy. It also has a three degree canted footbed, so it's a little higher on the outside of the, outside of the footbed on the binding, allowing you to stand at a more natural stance for your knees and allowing you to board harder, faster, longer, and more happy. Within the Zero, we have our 2x4 mini disc system, which is this little guy right here, which is great because it makes a smaller imprint on your board, creating less dead space, allowing the board to flex more naturally and ride the way it was designed to ride. And the mini discs also have an angle lock feature on them. So if you want, when you're mounting your board, you're a plus nine. You find plus nine, you line it up, snap it into place, it's not falling out, it's staying there. You're getting a plus nine angle and you're gonna be happy and you're, you don't have to mess around with getting some weird angle and changing it later on. You get the angle you want and you're good to go. The Zero also has our board saver technology in the heel here. So the binding base is angled up a little bit which reduces binding line breakage. A new feature to Zero this year is it has our new premium comfort ankle strap which is this ankle strap here. It's a minimized ankle strap. It's skinnier, it's smaller, but you still get the same support, but just makes it so you can flex your boot forward a little more naturally, and you also don't get any pressure points over it. And the Zero comes with our best convertible toe strap, which is one of my favorite toe straps because you can either wear it over the toe of your boot or over the top, whatever you prefer. And all of our straps and all of our bindings have toolless adjustable lengths to it. So you can easily adjust the strap to match the length you need for your boot because we make our bindings customizable and sure fitting for all boots on the market. The Zero has our reinforced cable connectors here on the toe ladder and this is the most vulnerable ladder on all bindings from all brands because when it gets cold out, minus 20, minus 30, you're out there boarding because you're a total badass and you love snowboarding. If you accidentally step on the plastic, sometimes the plastic breaks and that's gonna ruin your day because your ladder's broken. So then you gotta go down, waste hours looking for a new ladder, and then maybe your whole day pass is gone. But with the reinforced ca cable connector right here, which is a stainless steel cable that runs through the ladder, it's gonna hold it together and it's gonna keep you boarding all day long. The Zero has our forged aluminum speed wheel buckles, which are these bad boys right here on the toe strap and on the ankle strap. They're super easy to use, big levers. Oh. They hold, they don't strip out, they're solid. You can trust them, rely on them 100%. They're also really easy to get on and off with our easy entry buckles and ladders. So ladders are pre-curved and the buckles have a big opening so it's super easy to get the ladders and the ratchets together allowing you to go snowboarding faster than ever. One of the biggest difference between the Team and the Zero is on the base tray here. The team has a closed heel, where the zero here has an open heel, allowing for more lateral flex and giving you more of a skate-like feel. I would recommend the zero for anyone who's looking for a fully customizable binding with the added insurance of the reinforced cable connectors, airbags, and has a nice medium flex to it, where you can ride the park, hit rails, hit jumps, do the groomers, go hit the backcountry in a medium flexing skate-like feeling binding. 
to, yeah, I'd recommend it to you. If you're looking for that and you want a binding that you can rip all day in comfort, look no further than the new 2019 Nitro Zero binding. Yes, get it.